Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video on how to join these nodes to make this work. And I started thinking as the video is loading, this could be very helpful to the people that have 2018 and use object to path, if you ever had something like this. So we're going to select that, hold down the shift key and select that, and hit apply. And you can see we've got the same problem that we had in the other, just a hair off right there. This might even help even more. So let's move our path away. Let's go up to a range and combine like we did in the other video. Now let's open join curves. And if you go to windows, dockers, join curves, Take the shape tool and lasso all these and join curves half of an inch because the other nodes are more than a half of an inch apart. Voila, you got a good, clean, smooth uh, joint there. And you could do a lot. I really like object to path. It, uh, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you could take somebody that in. Control D and mirror it. Oops, let's mirror it the other direction. And, you know, take that node and add it to that node. You know, the, you can just keep going. So here we'll do the same thing. Hold down the shift key and select both those. And now we've got a good clean uh, path. And what I'm saying by the gap tolerance is a half of an inch. There, was all, there were only three nodes in this thing. One, two, three. And let's get the, I keep moving my parallel dimension tool. I moved it the other day in a video. So that's two inches apart. So it can't, it won't join those curves because that would be a total mess. So it's only going to join the ones that are within a half of an inch. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.